Now that is flat. Couple updates on our straw reed here. If it's not working the way you want to, or if you make a mistake, do not throw the straw away. Instead, just cut the part flat and start again. What you wanna do is you want to flatten it with your teeth. Okay, and what I find is it's actually better to chew on the side like that and really crease down that edge. It's gonna take a little while, so you just keep at it and keep at it, and you wanna chew it about a thumb knuckle in length. So you wanna go all the way down to there and just keep chewing. And don't ask me, ask yourself. Does it look flat on this edge? Yes, flat on this edge. All the way down about a thumb knuckle long? Yes. Then you might be ready to cut. When you cut, you don't want it to be too steep or too flat. So I'm just gonna do a basic roof here. Bird beak. I find it better to cut with the back teeth of the scissors. Now remember, don't kiss the bird. <laughs> you want the beak to vibrate. And if you put your lips right on the beak, they're not gonna be able to vibrate. So instead, you wanna put your lips past the beak. So the beak is inside your mouth and then it can vibrate. You also don't wanna squeeze down on the straw in your mouth. You wanna just hold it with your lips in there. How hard should I blow? Well, it depends. This one, I blow too hard, nothing works. If I blow soft, it doesn't work. But if I blow medium, I find every straw that I cut is different. Sometimes it takes more push and sometimes less, but you're gonna try different things. Now I'm ready to make a flute or a trumpet. <laughs> so I'm gonna put a hole in here. I do not want to start with the hole here because if I make a mistake, I cut it off and then all I have is a little bit left. So I, I am instead going to put the first hole far away on this end over here. Now the same marker I used earlier to put my name on my straw, I'm gonna to use to put a hole. And what I recommend is just putting a little dot where you want the hole to be. You wanna pinch the straw so the dot is folded right there. And then just a little snip. You're gonna cut a V shape here, okay? So a little snip there, and then a little snip here. And see that tiny little V shape? When I open it up, it makes a cool diamond shape. And now I can cover it and play it. And that one turned out well, so I'm gonna do it again here. Just a little dot with the marker. And then I'm gonna fold it right on the dot. I'm gonna cut a little V, just the tip, just a little behind it, and a little bit above it. There's that V shape. Now I've been using this really fat straw to make it easier for you to see what I'm doing here. Um, but even a short, skinny straw can still be turned into a cool little trumpet flute here. Another cool trick, if you can roll your R's, you can blow while you roll your R's. And I can turn this high pitch instrument into a lower pitch by making it longer. Just using that skinnier straw. <clears throat> and I do notice I have to change how hard I blow when this gets longer. I'm not sure why, but it's an easy adjustment. And then I could take my finger off of that hole and make it a short high note as well. <laughs> <laughs>